asparagus when we all said no you seem to have like a very strange or like disgusted face at art <laughs> so <laughs> i he i would say like maybe really maybe good. you think it's too much or... nah dude man you well, spent so much as a trader to create a minefield around second you place like five mines two bear traps poison on the thing and you, you as a survivor you come with only three three green parts only three green parts and you come in you destroy everything <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? We have a bunch of awesome streamers and players tonight that will be debating with us. We have a few new faces. So uh, let's do a little bit of housekeeping quickly, quickly before we go. I will not bother you for so long about that. We will be talking tonight. The topic is to trap or not to trap, which means uh, with the new, the, the latest update of the game, you guys probably know, they uh, have added the option for traders to craft remote sabotage, which in my own opinion, change totally change the way the game is played for the better for the worst we are gonna see that tonight by the way thank you oh thanks for the raid yoshi man yoshi man thank you how are you doing well you, you, we talked about that yesterday that that you made it out for the uh for the show you tell us what you think and if you want to participate just type discord in the chat and you will see the form you can fill to be possibly on the next debate so that being said, yeah, to trap or not to trap, tonight we're going to discuss if we should put traps on first objective now as a strategy. Uh, we also have a few other topics I have in, in mind, so if we need uh, to talk about different things, this is where we'll be going. Without further ado, I will just give my each of the debaters here the chance to talk about uh, who they are first, what's their experience with the game, and give us a quick, quick uh, overview of what they think about the topic. And also, please give us where people can find you. After that, I will be doing a few more information and we will jump right into the debate. So Ash, since you're on the top left, I will let you go first. So who are you? What's your experience with the game? What do you think of the topic and where people can find you? Okay, uh, so I'm Ash. Uh, game name is Taylor Jade, if you see me. Um, I've been playing for a year, maybe more. Um, I started just kind of as someone who didn't play video games, and I'm now trying to learn so I can get good. Uh, you can't find me on social media. I'm really interested in today's topic because I think it's going to be hard for both sides to kind of really come up with some solid grounds on the topic because I think it's very... I think it can really go either way. That's all I got. That's what you have. Awesome. Peas are veteran of the show. I think Peas are has missed the only one episode so far yeah so. you just you just keep letting me come back i don't know why so <laughs> um yeah Peaser plays is my twitch name that's really all i've got uh don't do the youtube thing uh stream for sure wednesdays and saturdays project winner for the most part but uh trying to reach out to a few other things too did pummel party with almost everybody here last night and uh that's a good time but uh yeah so i've been playing this game for just over two years i believe and i've seen a lot of changes and this one is very interesting that it changed the whole meta <laughs> so i'm on a i'm on a an affirmative side of no i uh, i don't trap at all so so changes for the best or for the worst i'll get to that i'll get to that okay awesome uh newcomer to the show please everyone welcome dude man og who's making his first appearance and we certainly hope not last so floor is yours dude man hello as asparagus said i'm dude man um i have played project winter since the summer of 2020 it's been a very fun experience i've met so many lovely people everybody here aside from maybe asparagus uh some some adversity there but uh, like it's, he said, it's my first time. I'm excited to bait. Uh, I am pro trap. Um, I'm excited to see what everybody has to say, and I'm just looking forward to it. And you can find me on twitch.tv slash dudemanog. Awesome. Thank you so much, dude man. Real deal to see. You've been on the show a couple of times. It's been a while now, so welcome back. We are very happy to see you again. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm real deal to see. And... Um... I've been playing this game for just about a year. Um, we're coming up on the anniversary of it coming to Game Pass when I first discovered it. And it's leaving Game Pass in a couple weeks now. So that's uh, 
Who knows? I, I was but, not um, aware of that. Uh, that's going to be another topic, yeah. I guess. Oh, I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. <laughs> yeah, that could be a future topic. Um, so yeah, you can find me on Twitch under Real Deal Kill Steel, and I'm on the stream. So uh, yeah, you should still grab it. Excellent. Zeke, also a veteran. Zeke and, and a dog who uh, apparently people already think is uh, cheating. Yeah, apparently. Um, so I'm Zeke. You can find me on Twitch under Zeke0313. Hey, hey, let's talk. And uh, I'm on the side of trapping is still good, although it is not quite the same as it was before, and there's more to think about. But uh, the new changes are good, and it's made it definitely more difficult. Excellent. Quipper, thanks for joining us. Quipper is also here for the first time tonight. So what do you have to say about yourself, your experience with the game, uh, your opinion on the topic, and where people can find you? Yes, hi. I'm Quipper, and I've been playing Project Winter for a little over a year now. Um, I am on the uh, Team A. Yes, uh, traps are not needed on first objective anymore um and i do have twitch it's quipper um i stream sporadically but uh i always come here to pop by pal debates thank you for being here we appreciate your uh every time you come in to see us and now you're part of the show so, so see we're going up in the world uh, Silver Horse, Silver Horse also making his first appearance on the show. Hello there. Hello. What's Hello. Up, uh, I like Seal. Uh, started playing Project Winter uh, when it got added to Game Pass, uh, just almost exactly a year ago. Uh, just started playing with my friends originally. We were looking for a game that uh, held more than four people, and uh, oh my goodness, did we find one! Uh, just kept playing it, and met all you fine folk, and here we are. Uh, don't currently stream. I keep getting yelled at that I probably should. So I've slowly been working on that. So you can find me at the Silver Horsey on Twitch. But uh, hopefully start streaming here very shortly. With a camera, I guess. Oh, yes. You got to see this beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And uh, Rustery. Hello, everyone. I'm Rustery. I've been with the game since day one. And I'm for the trap side for trapping first objective. I stream once in a while on Rustery X, and I have a YouTube called Rustery. Excellent. So now that we've met all of you lovely folks, I just have a few information I need to give to our uh, other lovely folks in the chat. We have a few new things going on tonight. So we have installed some stickers on the, uh, on the channel. So if you want to try that on the right side of your screen, you should see a pink heart icon. You can you can click on it and slap some stickers on the street on the, the screen. So if you hear something you dislike or something you very agree with, just slap those stickers on the screen. It's going to be splack, 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 and you're going to send message to your debaters that you either agree with it or they're totally in the wrong. So that's new. That's going to be awesome. Uh, awesome. Also, we have a giveaway going on. The giveaway is going on right now, and we have a free copy of Project Winter to be given away for PC. So that's incredible. Please uh, enter the giveaway right now. You need to be a follower or a subscriber of the channel to be able to enter the giveaway. You can just type exclamation point PPPD giveaway. We will uh, give you the prompt in the chat a few times. By the way, Yoshiman, thank you so much for the follow. That's super appreciated. I think Yoshiman wanted a copy of the game. Make sure to uh, enter the giveaway, and we'll be doing the giveaway in the mid-sentence mid, uh, of the debate. Speaking of mid-pause, we will be doing a pause in about 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes. We'll do, be doing one uh, ad break, and we'll be doing a bathroom breaks for debaters here. Time to go to the bathroom, get some water, beers, whatever you guys are drinking right now, coffee, uh, wine. Uh, that will be a three-minute break. We did that last week, and it was pretty, uh, pretty useful. Uh, that's pretty much what I had to say. The last thing we need to say here about the rules, especially since we have new people in the debate, I'm just going to go through the rules of the debate. First of all, we want to keep this uh, TOS, right? Terms of service. So you guys are mostly all streamers. You know what we should and what we should not say around here. So I will totally believe in your judgment. I'm able to mute people if something goes off the rail. It never happened so far. Never had the need to do it. And I don't think we're going to do it tonight as well. Uh, that being said, this is a debate show. This is not a discussion. So 
interruption is not only expected and uh, it will be mostly agreed upon and you uh, can have disagreement as well we're here to see a little bit of fighting and not everyone agreeing so don't feel threatened by tos just follow it and have a lot of fun uh, one last thing we have to say here and i'm going to do that quickly because i'm speaking a lot uh, guys and, and girls in the chat if you have questions you want to be addressed please make sure to tag me or uh, pizza pie so you tag at asparagus or at pizza and we will be noting your question pizza will send me all the questions you guys send and uh, sometimes in a debate i will use this question and i will ask directly if it's a question directly for a debater if this is something that you disagree with or you agree with and you want to have your opinion please make sure you do it most of all everyone have fun this is going to be awesome everyone ready to jump in Shadow, yes. oh, thanks for the raid. Shadow's raiding us with a party of five. That's incredible. Uh, everyone in Shadow streams, we are just about to start the debate. You guys came right at the right time. So why not just uh, give the first word to Dudeman here since he's the first one. So what do you think about the debate? And did you hear something you disagree with? And everyone feel free to uh, jump in, jump on Dudeman. And uh, we're going to start this right now. Oh, sorry. I wasn't ready to be put on the spot. Um, so yeah, team, team pro traps. I just just to get it out of the way, I feel like trapping initially, like as soon as you first fix it, it's an obvious giveaway that it's going to be a remote sabo. Like, so I'm more of a wait for a first remote sabo at least at the current time, because it's almost guaranteed immediately. But once they get af once they get rid of that first sabo, I I don't personally trap myself, but I don't think it's a necessary bad thing to do. Be it poison, mine, bear traps, whatever you're. Whatever you're feeling, whatever you're spicy. And uh, also, I think a really good point is that, like you said, since this update's been out, it's completely changed everything. But these haven't been balanced at all yet. So we have no idea if it's going to get restricted or cost more or anything of that manner. Which, with the main reason people don't do it is because of the remote sabo. If the remote sabo wasn't there, the trapping would still exist. Yeah. Uh, could I jump in too? Um, of course. Yeah, that's the goal. Think I think if you even as little as making sure that the trader is cautious of it being trapped means you make them burn extra points. You don't let them go in and set up their own traps for the survivors. You at least have the benefit of knowing it's there and they wasted extra points to remote it. Yeah, four points. They waste four extra points. Yeah, that, that's a big deal, though. That's almost a sabo. Like, that, that's, that, that's, that, that's the second objective sabo. True. It, How many times have you been out of points crate. trying to sabo second? How many times have you been out of points trying to stab a second? Lots. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> we might have. We might have pizza. That's a whole different topic. <laughs> Is it, though? Because you're still using up points. It's all about, about the second. economy, right? You got yeah, the economy, the points in the game. So we'll talk about making the second them spend there. it earlier is still part of the game, right? Mm -hmm. No, you're, you're, you got a point. Um, I find it's just slowing you, like, everybody down. Like... I would rather trap it now as a trader than I would as a good person, just because you you're right. There is that extra four that goes in there, but how you get you get four in the first couple minutes if you sheeped well enough, you're gonna get two. The other night I had a trap or a first objective um, sabotaged solar flare and a cabin lockout in the same game. That's what that's like thirty. I don't think it's that big of a deal to lose four more. I mean, sheep games, I I had 37 trader points in my one sheep game yeah. last night. I mean, you know, the four extra points really doesn't cost that much. It's it's one crate. I forego an energy drink, and, oh, you know, now the traps mm -hmm. are against the survivors. They're no longer against me. Yeah, yeah. But are, you, are you talking about putting an entire screen of bear traps and guarding it like you're a troll like you used to? Or are you talking, like, <laughs> put a couple strategic traps in that you can potentially even walk around? Or even sabboing it after that first sabo, or, or trapping it after the first sabo so the traders can't go set stuff up. I think just the idea of, like, don't trap anymore is silly. I get... You go ahead. Like, okay, for me, like, as a survivor, after I get saboed, I'd go in there with a trap to farm kit, regardless, because trader likely trapped it behind them after they sabotaged it, right? So... Like, what's the harm in trapping it as a survivor and then having to use a trap disarm kit? I've been trader so many times, I've ran into that objective and just saboed it. Because I don't need to go waste four more points. 
I can just walk right in there because there's no traps. I think it's important to realize that trapping the first objective is not only just trapping it once it's complete. It's also to prevent people from like stealing parts to put the um, I forgot what the trip wire in order to see if someone interacts with it slow anything in order to buy time because a lot of times it's next to the cabin and you know when someone's running down there but then it's the problem of how am I going to catch up to them do we have enough time to even see who it is trapping it can be way more than just protecting it and from a manual attack oh yeah and all the time that there has been a bear trap there it's totally like fucked me over sorry I've I've only physically sabotaged now once since that update and i've actually had more success as a trader without there being anything there like i i just personally I, I i i don't see a point anymore it just slows two people down but that's just my feelings about it i think it's more of um the trader suddenly given so much more kit potential they have so much more different powers and they can influence the game that it's not all about i need to delay first as much as possible now they mm -hmm. have the option of I can oh, separate absolutely. people and do everything else in as, order to as buy a sheep time. Trader, yeah. If I know everyone's just getting bunkers, I try to take two stacks of parts and get the delay and then trap up around them. Yep. Because then I can waste more time than even if I was able to steal a total of three parts because everyone's in the bunkers anyways and the next person will fill it up. Okay, you guys I've are been, bringing a point. Go, go ahead, Peezer. I'll talk I've been through. killed, again, that's going back to what I said too, is on the, on the other end, on the survivor end, I've been killed more by my old teammates just trying to get into a bunker when there's only two of us left in the map. It's like, yeah, that's my fault. I'm cold and hungry and stupid. But, like, uh, I I have, what was it, just, just under half health and died the other night because I was the last person alive. Like, that's from my own teammate. That's why, personally, I just find running into it is more of a hassle than even having to put down a single one. And if it is a single one, I'd rather see a bear trap than a bomb. And that's why they have trap the sun kit. And isn't yeah. that hassle good? Um, not for the, not for the anyone the in survivors. a rando game for using the trap the sun kits. Say that again. When's the last time in a rando game you saw anyone actually using the trap to sun kit? Me and I made it. <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah you. <laughs> Peter, sure you're on our if, side. You're on if our I'm side. I'm in a pure rando lobby. No, I'm either I, dead first or absolutely last. That so was I don't complete. See any of them do any of that? That was complete luck of the draw. First objective was all green, and there was like 19 in the box. So I'm like, well, fuck, it's here. So I went and made it, right? Like, but that's what's funny is somebody trapped that. That one of the survivors trapped that himself and ended up getting himself mm -hmm. killed because of the bomb inside. Like, I find you're wasting time and putting yourself right. in a way worse position trapping it in general. I mean, I think that you would actually use the traps better if you were to trap it around, say, uh, trader hatches, trader boxes, because at that point, you're uh, the only survivor, as a survivor, because as a survivor, um, you may get another scout, but that's just maybe. But if you are... Or, or a defector. Well, there's, there's possibly two scouts, though, so that's half your team. That you're hurting potentially. Yes, but it could be it could be and three scouts. It could be six people if if nobody's paying attention to what you're doing and unless you have a very organized lobby. And I've been uh in some very unorganized lobbies. Yeah, I think where most nobody knows I've what anybody's organized. doing and they keep asking, well, you know, 15 minutes of the game, what what do we need for first? You know, it's just it's Yo. it's those kind of games. <laughs> I got 1,500 hours in the game, and I still ask that every single game, <laughs> at least 10 minutes in. Say at the 10 minute yeah, mark, like, he's just typically like, "Hey, I got my backpack. What do we guess?" <laughs> Fuck, they're dead. That's upsetting. But I know that I can always get a good backpack off of these good guys. Yeah, you can. <laughs> okay, so there seem to be two different uh, talking points here. I I think I want to separate them. Some people were talking about trapping first as a survivor. Other people were talking trapping first as a trader. I think these are very, very good uh, talking points. I would like to separate them for now. Um, the reason this question came to me, and this is where I would like to have your opinion about it. As a survivor, let's talk survivor first. In my opinion, I, I, well, I'm not going to share opinions because I'm supposed to be in the middle, but 
I'm often in caught in debates in game because I think since Trader can use remote sabotage, if you go put a landmine on first objective and then they do remote sabotage, you're going to have to explode on your own landmine when you're trying to go and fix it. So when I, I come in game and I try to explain that to the players, they call me a traitor and they kill me. How does that work? Well, you don't explode well, on it if you just have a sap to suck hit. Like, I yeah, don't, like, I feel like, as yeah. a survivor, uh, I usually carried one, and as a traitor, I usually carry one. I think, it, yeah, let's see, like, you're, you're underutilizing trap disarms, or quick trap disarms, like, nobody, yeah. almost well, nobody well, uses quick trap disarms. thing in the game. Yeah, like, like, just it be, is. that's, that's an entirely possible avenue. It does. It, it doesn't help with landmines. Yes, but that's what a trap to storm kit's for. And it doesn't help with poison either. Whose team are you on, Rusty? That's not. <laughs> that, well, that's I'm not the debate here. Obvious. Like there's some games where there's so much poison going around, I just make one just before I go into the objective. I use it to get the poison off. People are poison. I usually but, have med kits for that, but yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, well, I don't want to waste a med kit. Like so just you waste because a trap disarm. Because yeah, of how the game. Uses. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But because how the game currently is, where you have six survivors against two traders, well, most of the time IDC muddles that up, you have more inventory slots, so people are holding gas, they're holding the parts to fix the objectives, but then people are also going off the sidelines, building trap disarms, building backpacks, getting rocks to make traps and stuff like that. So traders, they'd have to risk one of their most important slots, inventory slots, in order to hold a trap disarm if they want to manually destroy first objective with which survivors is exactly, which is exactly what it used to be though yeah, yeah. which is exactly so why i think that, that thought in their mind has to be a thing always which is why you just don't full sell say i'm not trapping first after it's done because they're just going to remote you have to keep that thought in their head so they do always remote and you cost them those, but, those points consistently yeah, if they remote, that's actually an advantage for the survivors because that gives you more information. You get to know, okay, someone either is next to the, uh, what's called crafting bench, either made a remote sabo, or it's the person that's gone and he got trader airdrop. So that gives you yeah. more information of what's going on. So it's more beneficial yeah, to know. Yeah, but a good trader is not going to use the remote sabo as soon as they walk outside the cabin. I've never used a, the remote sabo when I'm in the same tile as the cabin. Yeah, but if you yeah. have that knowledge of still like they can't freely walk into first, that's still important to have. I've already had matches and I've seen other people do it, not just myself. We see people go in the cabin and they just make nothing. They just randomly go in the cabin and you can keep track of what they're doing and then you can tail behind them and then all of a sudden this event happens. And they're just standing still, or they're just acting strange just in general, because they know they activated Solar Flare for no reason. But you saw that. You can pinpoint, find out, and have suspicion of people, and find out. Because why are you going in the middle of the cabin halfway through when we're almost done with a Cypher objective, and you went to the crafting bench and didn't even make a gun? You didn't help with bunkers. Why are they at the crafting bench for? It's an order to make... remember yeah. that not everybody has all the, me the recipes memorized. It's not about memorizing recipes. It's about just seeing this person hasn't helped with bunkers, has just been chilling, I, and then all of a sudden goes say, to the I'm, I'm pretty sure I, even in might have been Dude Man's stream, someone was even said like, "Hey, you don't have any craftable materials, and you're walking over to that bench over there." Or someone's stream I was yeah, just watching earlier. Yeah. <laughs> so that, they like, could just like say that it was their bonus. On by better players. It was their bonus objective. They could say that they were. I don't know. But they need to make have the stuff to make something, and I, eventually the game. If I'm at the crafting started. bench, it personally as a sheep trader, I am carrying something to say that I just crafted. But I mean, that's just I sheep all the time. That's just how I play. I get asked that question, so I've stopped. But I see your point on that. People well, don't think about sheep. that all the time because sometimes you're just gonna see trader go there, craft some, and then you see a a black remote just fall on the ground, and then you look at them and say, "Yeah, that's yeah. awkward." <laughs> I've, I've done that. I think Feta. I think it was him that caught me. I I was like wandering around the cabin, like left and right, like panicking, dropping shit, trying to pick it up, and he's like, "Let's go to the woods," and he just killed me. <laughs> ah, he found it. Yeah, he found it. I remember in like one of the first debates. Um, after game matches and all that, I was tracker and I was really suspicious about, I forgot the player's name, 
and I've been following him for a while. I had a sniper rifle, and he was just suddenly a cabin alone oh. after Solar Flare. And he made something and walked, like, right out of the PvP zone of the cabin, and then just went back in. And I'm like, huh? And then all of a sudden, Solar Flare's coming up, and I'm like, hmm. I think there's a point that was made earlier. is like, why would you do it if you get exploded by mines? And this might be up to debate but like when i pl i play mostly with randoms as most of you know but like i but even when i do play with like friends and pre-mates before this is before remotes sad was weird thing but i almost never encountered mines it was poisons tripwires or bear traps so like again i know we had the whole quick disarm trap disarm but like you're like there was a big thing like oh you're gonna get hit by your own mine i very rarely saw mines even used in the first place which again, it, to cost a med kit, but like a bear trap, that's really not that big a threat. Mines are expensive. To, like, step... Exactly, like almost nobody does them unless you're a defector and you get them. Like nobody, people do, but <clears throat> there's not a lot of people that just go, oh boy, let me craft four mines to. It's protect. why not? It's really good for traders, but really bad for survivors. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. Is like, like, is it worth it? No, because they can remote sabo and you'll get hit by your own mines. But who really does mines? It's mostly I bear do. traps or poison. I do. But I, the, I hate doing bear majority. traps because when you put a bear trap on the ground, I don't use them anymore because what you end up doing is just giving a bear trap for free to the person you're trying to catch because they're yeah, going to get caught on it. They're going to take it back and now they have the bear trap. That's true. But if you're going to place bear time. traps, yeah, it waste time. And like, usually you place bear traps knowing that they're going to step in them soon. At least that's what I do. Like, I don't just place a random bear trap and hope five minutes from now. Rusty is going to go and sabotage it. I'm going to be like, okay, I know he's close. Or like, they have they have to make a move. So, just just a little two cents. Okay, so it... so you don't go, you don't want to trap it. That's what you're saying. I'm no, I'm saying you should. Hi, welcome to our team. Like <laughs> I no, I'm saying like there's no harm in it. Like okay, well, because you, you're your saying example. mines hurt you. You're saying mines hurt you. Bear traps hurt you, but it's really not that big a deal. And again, trap disarms, quick disarms, they exist. They're underutilized. Make use, use of them. them. Yeah, exactly. Like the tools are there to counteract the. Oh no, I'm gonna get hurt by my own traps. It's just you're choosing not to use. You just them. need to take an extra two minutes to get yeah. some green and. Okay, before the new update, I cannot remember the number of times that we killed traders trying to go sabotage first. They just go in first, they explode in the mine mine. <coughs> then they try to break the sabotage, they explode and they die over there. And you look at them and that, oh, that's awkward. You're trying to break it, right? And then they just dead and you kill the traitor. So are you saying I, I sabotage? Feel... Are you saying trapping first is meant to kill them? Because I see it more I... as just a delay tool or a exposure. Yeah, like I mean, well, I, I would always make sure I stash like a trap disarm kit around the cabin or something. I never and expect... I would go... You haven't seen me play yeah. then as a traitor. Yeah. <laughs> Get I in there, try it in there, and I get caught every time. Mm -hmm. There's also Remote on... Sabo is a heaven sent for me. Oh yeah, for sure, it's a heaven sent oh. for everybody. Oh my god, yeah, as a sheep trader, holy hell! It's, I mean, this new update just was a godsend. Again, again though, they haven't been patched or balanced or anything. Oh, they, they haven't. Oh, been no, no, I'm sure nothing, it's going to change. They shortly, could make it more but... expensive. Make well, it only I, one. Well, well, dude, man, they could and... they could change a lot, and then we would have to have you... another debate. Well, here's the on thing. those changes, chain, you know, which we unless will. Unless they fully remove the craftable trader items, it's not well, going to change that much. Even if they, yeah, even if they just change the numbers, the game has changed no matter what they do, no but matter what so balance imagine... they do. I mean, how, when's the last time yeah. anyone here actually went and manually sabotaged first objective? Let me, let me. I just did ask. today. Yes, I, I did today. I did it in that eight <laughs> point of view. Fairly I often, it just depends on the game actually, because. Sometimes you're just in a position where you have control as trader, yeah. and that you just walk there right was, in and do I it. Mean, yeah. I there mean, yeah. There was nobody by cabin, and so I had the choice. I could either walk in and make a remote sabo, or nobody's here. Yeah. I think there was like there was a poison or a bear trap, maybe. And it's like, oh, but nobody's there, so I just run in and it saves me, saves me the points, and then I was able to sabo second later. It's or buy another crate or something. So you save yeah, the points, right? but if you have an alibi, oh, go ahead, deal. My bad. I've gone and made a solar flare and just waltzed into first, sabotaged it, and activated the solar flare. Isn't solar flare <laughs> cheaper, or is it the same? Same cost. It's the same. Is it the same? It's okay. the same. 
Yeah, uh, but Buddy, I have a ar ar player, arguably yeah. better too, if you really think about it. Yeah, because you get away as well. And but doesn't away. it give you a good alibi? Let's say you're a trader, you have a, a remote sabo in your pockets, you're with a group of two players, and you're just doing stuff together out of nowhere. You, you make sure they know you're there, you have a good alibi, and then out of a sudden just boop, break it while they... But, while you're still but, with them, and then do you, do you know, know where everybody else is? Because someone else could just be standing by first, dying to a moose, and be like, "Oh, hey, it went off, and there's no trail." Exactly. So it is like a really it it doesn't clear you as much as you would necessarily think. Or, or yeah, but it's a hell of a lot less risky than, like you said, there's no trail, there's no obvious proof who the person was. If you walked in and manually saboted it, they can follow your trail to the hatch right next to it. They can follow your trail behind it. But with remote sabo, you can be you know, halfway across the map at, you know, Druid's Fire or something like that, and Sabo it, and oh my god, it broke. Oh, but th this isn't a matter of, like, I mean, unless I missed something, it's how great this, like, the remote Sabo just is as, is of itself, right? Fair. Like, it, it's a great thing, It's but it's still in regards to trapping and stuff like that, so. You can you can effectively sabotage something as well, as easily in a blizzard. Because, what, can. two seconds or less, and there's zero trail, basically, like. Unless they see you running away, you're not getting a trail seen. Yeah, I think cause that you're then more you're sus cabin. if you're away in a blizzard. Maybe because that's been a like a meta. A, I don't know. Lot I hate longer sitting than in the that. cabin during a blizzard. Lo lo yeah, I go out and chop stuff all the time in the blizzard, or come back like right as the thirty second timer's counting down. I feel like I'm wasting time if I'm just in the cabin during a blizzard. So useless. Oh my god. Yeah, I <laughs> just like stand there in the blizzard, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not helping well, anyone. Get or <laughs> so, isn't the goal, the intended goal of um, standing everyone in cabin, is like when other games you have co meetings, right? When you, I think, play Town of Salem or the other game. Yeah, I, think that's, I think that's the idea, but it that's didn't the really idea. I don't, think that's that way. I don't think that's Everyone that's meets up at the well, cabin, you're stuck there for I, two minutes, I, you I have to know. talk, you have to it, discuss no, what happened. I think it's supposed to make you vulnerable and have an objective to head to. So, like, if you're not in the cabin space, you are immediately will be vulnerable to everything. And yeah, yeah, yeah. The people but... around you, like, it, it works as the the talking thing too. But it's meant to like put you into a dire situation and make you go and, somewhere. And also trust that person with a campfire. Like, you need to. <laughs> yeah, like, that's the other know, thing. This like, person like, gave it, me it one. brings people together, but you can grateful. risk it and leave. Yeah. Okay. I do have um, a quick, actually, question. Um, just more for clarifying, because um, I, because you were talking about separating um, the question of, like, between tr being a trader and being a survivor. I'm just having a little bit of a hard time. Maybe I just because I'm process things a bit slower. But um, as far as team wise, is like who's on what side like as a trader are you more so you should be trapping first you shouldn't be or and then as survivor yes like you should be or you shouldn't be because uh, i think regardless or of is the it team, there's always a situation i personally don't think trapping for traders has changed that much because you can just communicate with your person your teammate to be like hey i'm trapping it don't remote sabo whereas the survivors i'm definitely it's definitely changed for survivors but i still think it's viable when I see someone go put traps on the first objective now, maybe I'm wrong, but my assumption is that, okay, that person is a traitor and they just want me to explode on their mind when, I, when I'm going to have to go and repair the thing they will bro break in 10 minutes, I would have to step on all those landmines. So I would say everyone I see trapping first, I think they're a traitor now. But you can't be too, like, you can't just kill them for that or something. It is a like, social may deception. Maybe think about it, but it's not necessarily a confirm that they're bad because there's many other reasons. I will say Sorry, that need to get doggo. I played a game earlier today where we killed a trader immediately, and I was on radio with Dino the whole time, and he was trader. I didn't know this. But Stellar placed a mine in front of the objective. Like, it was the, uh, I can't think of what it's called, the water, the water engine or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So you have to go up the ramp, but he put a mine right on the right on the bottom. And oh. I, like, I didn't see him do this, but I walked by and I saw somebody blow up. So I'm like, okay, he's trader or ID. So I, I start killing them. They start killing me. Confusion happens. Dino ends up killing literally everybody. So I do. Th <laughs> I can definitely say it is very horrible to jump to the conclusion that they're immediately bad. <laughs> just because so they played the trap. Jidman is, is on our side now. 
No, Traps no. I'm saying, I'm saying, because Asparagus is saying that he immediately suspects traitorness, which is what I did, and I went for the blood. I didn't have any listening, and it cost us the game. So oh, that's fair. I'm, that I'm fair. agreeing with Zeke. That you gotta love making an irrational think, decision. Think that just before you, everything. Yeah. Think before you kill. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't just go killing people. But Traps. I mean, as someone who also plays with a lot of random people. I don't see a lot of like thought when it comes to playing with randoms. I think people are just <laughs> quick because they don't know you. Like oh, yeah. they're gonna I, always assume the worst before they assume the good, because it's a just, game of deception. You just gotta so... work your social charm. Randoms are randoms. Yeah. I will agree. But they're yeah. not all bad. Yeah. Not all randoms are bad. No, I'm not saying they're good, bad. But... <laughs> I, I want to reiterate. Talk that. your way out of it. Exactly. Especially just gonna bad. say. Just gonna be cute here. Every single one of you were randoms to me at one point. Oh, yeah. True. Oh, wait. That's that's pretty deep. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I ran like... into Clipper in the wild at one point. I mean, that's I how like... you met anybody yeah. ever in your life, though. I like how we talk about <laughs> randos like sewer monsters. These I don't think they things. are. I just I... does. No, I play like... <laughs> <laughs> so. I mean, it's, the it is 50 50 uh, whether you're going to have to kick somebody or not, but. I wouldn't say there's like the worst. It's not even 50-50. It's honestly yeah, probably 90-10 yeah, yeah. whether it's a kick yeah. or not. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick's a pretty harsh thing. People got to be pretty... <clears throat> whether they're worth playing with again or leaving the lobby is another thing, though, but... Yeah. Okay, so... I, I think we're leaving the main topic yeah, no, and we're yeah. talking yeah. about how um, I... the remote Sabo is so strong it changes the thing, which it does, and it does warrant discussion, but the issue is we're talking like, about if there's any merit to I, uh, yeah i don't like, think it over but i feel like we're talking first i feel like we're talking about remote sabo because that is what has changed the discussion that's yeah. that's the biggest yeah. change like, yeah you can't talk about you can't not talk about remote sabo when talking about yeah. traps yeah okay. we wouldn't even be talking about this yeah, yeah if remote sabo didn't exist it's just trap it's just still traps what do, what do you mean it always existed you just might yeah. hit a button on a thing that showed yeah the, train, no, train, the difference train, is, train, is train, that train, now train, now they're more now they can be crafted which they could not you had to wait there mm -hmm. and hope I... they finished first, and just like, ha ha, I've been here for 15 minutes. Finally pays <laughs> off. <laughs> this varies from the situation. The best part is... about the new things, the remote exile. Doing that yeah, when you're I... sitting there watching the cabin as the time ticks down is the greatest thing in the yeah, world. Yeah, I did that I did that in the last minute the other night. <laughs> That's I... what I said, though. Okay, is, is, you guys are talking about all the all the points. Like, you can get enough just being yeah. a decent sheep it's trader. And, and one one quick... Uh, Wolf, like that's it. If he can leave, make, get enough points to make one thing, he can but come back and do about, it. You're talking about an optimal game where your wolf doesn't get murdered by six people or yeah, that's right. whatever yeah. else doesn't happen where you need yeah. these points to be able to even have a chance, right? Yeah. Well, that's the beauty of Th 30 game, points goes away pretty quick after you sab but, four times but, and you're running two, for your life. Two effective sheep traders, you get well over 60 points no. in a game. You do. No, yes, no, yes, no, you do. Very yeah. many games where mm -hmm. there's four sabos in a full game I, yeah i i oh uh, yeah no actually I'd six the past, the other i night. would say they're more majority than not for me at least if the game's actually rolling out to the later third I so think, I, uh, i'll take it for a minute guys sorry that i have to interrupt you i just have to uh bring back some things you said because i think we heard a lot of things that are interesting uh we heard a lot speaking about the trap disarm uh, trap design apparently seems to be most more used than I expected to. Uh, Should be. Yes. Yes. That, okay. That uh, was like the biggest game change since I've got the game. Uh, do we agree then that the the trap disarm? Uh, I, I'm good. No, ask the question. I'm gonna give you one minute to think about it because I have a few things I want to say. But do you guys agree or do you disagree that if I say that the trap disarm being able to re be used three times is too much? While you're thinking about this, guys. <laughs> What are you thinking about this? I just want to take a second to remind everyone in the chat we have a awesome giveaway going right now. We have one copy of Project Winter to be given away on PC. Uh, all you have to do to be put enter the giveaway, you need to be a follower or a subscriber to the channel. Uh, this game is on PC. If you already have it, you can switch the game for a uh, blackout version of DLC if you don't have it. So make sure you if you uh, enter the giveaway by typing exclamation point PPPD giveaway. We will be doing the giveaway in uh, about 20 minutes. So we already have seven, eight people that are registered right now. So please go ahead and make sure if you have questions, I didn't receive any question right now, make sure you tag either me or at pizza in the chat and we will make sure to have your question asked to our guest. So guys, 
back to you now. What do you think? Tribe design, three use. Is it too much? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Is there any? No. Three uses. Is like there anybody <laughs> that thinks yes? Fair amount to make. So no. It's too easy to fix after. After the first one, you get the you get the one. Then it's just touch touch like. Should be what? single use. Wait, are you? What are you talking? Like like the, when you when you when you when you sabotage it, say it's parts. You go you put the parts in after the first one, and then the next sabotage is no, just touch it. Is two. it not? Parts oh, is it? Oh, you put in else. parts again. Everything oh. else is yeah. tap tap. Yeah. Just touch. Okay. Um, or well, both both repair are actually two if you have to repair. But then you'd already have the wait. Well, yeah, you'd have the number for cipher. But we're so talking. That's a whole different, yeah. yeah. Um, but we're no. We we're talking about the trap disarm and three greens costing three uses. Yeah, I mean, sh should trap disarm be a single use? Oh no, no. no. What if you no? miss? I, no, I, I, it's three I green. No. But dude, man, if you miss, I, 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 I green, three green like, for one to... use is entirely no. insane. Unless Not unless the, like, they were radius is doubled. Unless you got like yeah. a medic radius, unless you, you have, have like a screen yeah. in yeah. one <laughs> shot, then sure. But with the size it is and how finicky it can be sometimes, I think it ne needs to be the way it is. There's been so many times where I've only had like one bear trap disabled of three uses. Yeah, because <laughs> it's like. The, it's not. It's, I'm not gonna say it's a tiny circle, but it's a relatively small circle, and, and it's also it's not visually easy. not easy to judge because sometimes stuff outside it yeah. works and sometimes stuff inside it don't. <laughs> before this trap, would, sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, before trap disarm became a lot more commonplace and stuff like that when it first released, it barely shook up the meta because what was really annoying back then was people made bear traps and just bear trap. It sometimes even happens now. They just bear trap an entire area, and you're just not allowed in that area. If you're fighting a traitor, don't ever follow them because you're just going to go into their yeah. bear trap field yeah. and instantly die. Or it My gets even years. worse. It gets even worse because back then, bear traps didn't have a placement sound. So it was just constantly of, oh, I'm going to go here in this dark alley, go behind a rock, go behind a bunk or something, and place a bear trap. And there is no That's way to just... know. That feels yeah, more yeah. evil than tranking somebody. Like it in the is. Game. Like it yeah, but we all so agree. Tr tra tranks are bad. Let's not bring this I'm, one again. I'm just saying, if I'm leading someone behind a tree and turn around and do that to them, that feels like infinitely more cheap than tranking somebody currently. I mean, <laughs> like, they can yell for help, though. Dirty doing that. Yeah, but that's simple. Just don't do it. Yeah, it's too, it's too evil. to kill someone unless I don't know you. I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll silence you and leave. That's usually what I'll just use it for now. Like it's it's just it's way too ridiculous. Not even not even the topic tonight, but like just yeah, the bear trap with no sound sounds just awful. Like so, this. asparagus. When we all said no, you seem to have like a very strange or like disgusted face at our. <laughs> so I I would say like maybe <laughs> maybe you think it's too much, but I would agree maybe with first. Like you probably only need one use because it's always just a small. But like you got to think about second, which is a very open area, and there could there's you you don't know they could be immediately close, a little close, completely to the right where you're walking approaching. There's like infinite sources. First, it can be a little overpowered because it's a small compact area, but especially with second, you need those three uses. Or nah, dude, man, you well, spend so much as a trader to create a minefield around second. You place like five mines, two bear traps, poison on the thing. And you, as a survivor, you come with only three, three green parts, only three green parts, and you come in, you destroy everything. They have to get them, though. So they have to get somebody to open uh, a bunker, uh, or they have to sit there and craft out three yeah. greens to make there, there, it. You open boxes. Point when I used to trap a certain way in this game when I first started playing with my friends, and then we kind of realized how big the radius of the quick disarm was, and somebody that was playing with us had a dozen traps infinitely van or instantly vanish off the screen for them, and they were like, oh no. And yeah. then from that point, we learned that like you start spacing them out a body width away from each other, so you have an area where only half them go off for every charge or something like that. And you start playing around it rather than densely placing stuff. It yeah. obviously doesn't... It's not great as a trader that you can't blow a guy up and instantly with four landmines in a straight line, but... I'm going to say it again. They're too cheap, and you can get too much out <laughs> well, of them. Asparagus, the reason why I brought up that story was because... People were putting, like, you know, um, I think it's Trader's Bluff, the one with the big bridge, and you just drop people down. The one with spikes in the bottom, you blow up the entire bridge. Yeah. yeah. yeah so, so, people, bridge. so people place bear traps in, like, the ridges when you're up the hill in order to go further north. People put bear traps on stuff like that all the time, like key choke points and stuff like that. And they just behind, hide behind an object and 
you get hit by it, you're just instantly dead. It's no fun. It removes the engagement part. Traps are supposed to be able to disperse large groups and stuff like that. And even the moment one person is trapped in like a small group, it's also not fun to go against a trader that's just meleeing all of you in a small compact area. It just removes the fun of it. It removes um, the deception. Rest Restory, I'm I'm sorry to tell you that you're mistaken. Um that <laughs> no. <laughs> you you can have you can use traps however you want because this is um if you're a, a traitor, that's it's your job to kill somebody, right? Yeah. But, but I'm that's saying right. the problem it's is in the trailer. removing more <laughs> charges from the trap disarm also creates this problem of, all right, I know there's going to be a trap there. How do we get rid of it without putting ourselves in a disadvantage? You need those extra charges for stuff like that in order to check those corridors. And you also need them in order to disarm first objective when it's trapped or something like that. And even then, if you're a survivor and you use one charge, nine times out of ten, I see people just chuck it away because it's not fully charged, even though that's sort of stupid at times. So you're saying people are misusing the traps? Can you re the traps? rephrase that? Yeah, yeah I yeah. got a little bit lost. So it, has, it, so it has three charges, and then all of a sudden, all right, remote sabo on first objective, and they use it and they repair back first. Sometimes they just get rid of the trap disarm because they think the job's done or it's not full. That doesn't mean it's I, gone. I'm, it's still there I, I, somewhere. I've people use one of them, drop it, and then explode actually before. So they, they thought they they thought they thought hit the mines everywhere, but there was one that wasn't quite in the radius and they just ran into it immediately after the fact. Patience. Sometimes people don't think so. People don't want to miss out on the inventory slot for something that doesn't have all that, the charges. That's the other thing. It's a one that's inventory slot it. for the three uses, so it makes sense that it's not just one and done. Because even as a trader, that would be absolutely awful if you do go through the effort to get one of those, and then you end up not hitting the mine on the objective somehow because of a clipping issue with the uh, little thing. Too, then... Yeah, a little too short <laughs> on the range. Yeah. Or a little bit of lag right when the thing triggers and you end up missing the spot and then now you literally have to eat the mine anyways and you may as well not have wasted the time. So that's good. I uh, think removing the charges would be worse on both sides. Yeah. Yeah. So that I, is I not a that. asparagus battle royale. Okay, so people in the chat commented it was funny that it was uh, me versus all of you, but apparently some of you, <laughs> when, when you started hey, you thinking about case. it and using your you brain... They're, yeah, they're but now I, I hear a few of you are starting to agree with me, which is pretty good. Uh, uh, before we take a break, I, I, I don't think well, so. It's okay to be wrong. I agree. I agree, dude, man. I agree with you. It's okay to be wrong. I'm just going <laughs> to send it right back at you. Uh, before we go to the break, I want to ask you one last question, and we'll come back with uh, more of this discussion because this, uh, this is even more engaging than I was uh, expecting, and I'm very happy about it. I thought we'll be done on the topic after 30 minutes, and apparently we're not even to ask my question. It's, it's almost been an hour, guys. Uh, before we go to the break and we go to giveaway, can you one by one tell me what is your favorite trap in the game? If you had to keep only one and remove all the other ones, if you had to keep only one, which one would it be and why? Um, poison, because <laughs> poison is by far the best item in the game, especially when you couple it with medkits and the shock that occurs when someone eats a poison medkit and loses 800 health. Best best item in the game. Best. We have one general. poison. As much as I love to poison people, I love to watch people like explode and go flying. So I'm gonna have to say lead mine. Because it's fun. Because of oh, the. Oh yeah, uh, it makes me laugh. Because the ragdoll. Even blowing up on it and dying from it, it's still funny. Landmines are a good second for ragdoll for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with a hot take and say tripwires because we 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 we. Yeah, for the memes, just tripwires <laughs> yeah. for the memes, and that's it. If, if I if I had to play the game tomorrow and I could only ever use one, it'd have to be. <laughs> Ash? Uh, I would say I, I'm i probably one of the only people that I've at least played with that traps um, the escape because I usually like and by trap I mean like meticulously like having like 10 traps around the escape um, and my favorites for that purpose is bombs because I, I just I love the surprise plus the explosion. So. Okay, so traps here. 
We have uh, one of each so far. Peter? Bear trap, without a doubt. Bear trap. Why? But but, but tripwire for the memes. That's uh. Yes. Because you get three in one go, so it's like you can just get you know. Good fifty lined up by cabin. Wait, turn yeah, I see shit show out there. Yeah. Wait, I've seen or like Steve. Two right. It's one wood, one stone for two. But for the two. Uh, the yeah. the bear trap just because I've it's 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 all faithful for me. I've seen or Steve do it once on. I I think he's still here. Uh, he plays uh, something like forty five uh trip wires around oh, first objective, and it became it's just it's symph it's symphony on cicadas. It, it used to crash wait, wait, the game. Wait, 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 wait. When you hit really? like twenty of them, it used to crash body the whole game. As a pack mule, and then you can just fill it up and drag it to wherever you're putting. <laughs> funny. Caught, took that from Yuri's strategy in a video. So good. Yeah, just a draggable locker. <laughs> Uh, I've done that with cards. I never thought to use that with traps. What's your favorite well, clipper? Oh, um, yeah. I, uh, I like traps. poison. <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't want to get rid of poison, but I don't really feel that's uh, a trap. Always a trap because if you bake it into a pie or something, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't see that as being a trap. But, but if, but. I I I I'm I'm with Teal on this one. I like the landmines just to just to see the animation. Uh, Silver Horse, you mm -hmm. keep only one trap in the game. Which one will be like, and why? I like Quiffer's point, but I don't think poison is a trap. Does it fail your bonus objective if you uh, the don't use any traps if you use poison? I don't think it fails your bonus objective. So, really? Yeah, so really? Trap. Don't think so. so. It in may that not... case. Yeah, poison is a drinkable. So uh, in that case, I'm gonna go landmine, uh, just because I mean the ragdoll is hilarious. Plus the AOE damage is nice. If you get a, a couple survivors grouped together, hurt them all at once. Okay, and Russery, your favorite trap to keep in the game, and why? I had so much time to think it over, but every time I'm thinking about something, I'm just having PTSD. Like, oh, bear traps. I always somehow land on one, even though. I'm miles away from anything as traitor and then die. Landmines, my teammates just press on every single one. Um, that... I guess it has to be tripwires because yes. it's pretty funny. Yes. <laughs> Damn, this is this is very, very uh, varied. I was not expecting that. We have one vote for poison, two for tripwires, two for bear traps, and three for landmines. So apparently... Uh, People want to keep the landmines, if anything else in the game, uh, because it's fun, because it's funny, and because of the ragdoll and the but area of effect. Change the trip so many user. more useful. So change many more uses. Wire. Well, you can't get a bear run through a tripwire and slow him down. Oh. But at least like, it'll make the sound. Wouldn't that, that be great if you could? At that point, then. Yeah. <laughs> Just quit, nerd. <laughs> I'm sad you. See you later. I think that'd be even more of a meme if they could. Exactly. <laughs> So guys, yeah. we've been at this for an hour now. We will take a five-minute break right now. We will be uh, playing an ad on the stream uh, by now. And we will be playing a Be Right Back video, guys. So don't leave. We'll be back quickly. After after the pause, we will be doing the giveaway. So that's your last chance. If you want to win a free copy of the game, make sure you enter right now the giveaway by typing in chat exclamation point PPPD giveaway. Uh, this can only be entered by by, by uh, channel follower or subscribers. If you already have the game, you can either give, or give it to a friend or change for a DLC code. So guys, take two minutes. If you need to go to the bathroom, uh, get a, a new drink, or get your dog outside, and we will be right back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the debate, guys. I hope you had a good break. We've been uh, we're getting ready for the giveaway. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people enter the giveaway. That's a record. That's a record, guys. So everyone's excited. We're going to do the giveaway right now. We are giving away one copy of Project Winter on PC. Guys, you have a 10 seconds left. If you want to enter, press in chat exclamation point PPPD giveaway. Otherwise, in 10 seconds, it's about to be too late. 10, 9, 8, 3, 2, 1. And let's go. Let's see who wins the giveaway. And we count and down in the back. What the fuck? Yeah, that's how we <laughs> count down. <laughs> we just skip four numbers. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to the point. Yeah. Ooh. Yoshiman222. Two, two, two. Are you oh, in the girls. chat? Hi. Hey, Yoshiman. Nice. Yoshiman, are you still here? I hope you're here, Yoshiman. 
I could be. Yes, I see you. Awesome, dude. You just gave. Uh, you just won a copy of the game, so we will be contacting you. Please make sure you tell us. You can either either choose to have a PC copy of the game, a, or a code for Blackout DLC if you don't own Blackout already. <laughs> Blackout. Wait, isn't it a great, awesome? A great movie. <laughs> <laughs> and if you uh, already have both, where well, you can get a copy, you can give to one of your friends. Uh, guys, thanks for being back. I have a few questions from the chat here, and I think we're going to go with that before we change the topic. Uh, I think I want to go with these. So we talked about the trap designs being three U's, being too much. Uh, we talked about that. I have this interesting question that I wanted to know, and I feel you guys might be probably in agreement with this one. Should you be able to use the trader sabotage items from inside the cabin? No. N no, I don't know. No. Hey. No. no. Is it unanimous? You can spend the whole game there if you do it right. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I would say they definitely need to patch issues with the events, like remote sabo, it should work during Blizzard, and teleport to airdrop or something, the, like yeah. sabo to airdrop. <laughs> but like, yeah, no, definitely not inside the cabin. I yeah, I will say I got chased one time and I made a solar flare and I couldn't I couldn't escape. Like I had to run out and they killed yeah. me before. I used it, but they killed me before the teleport. But like, imagine if I just ran in. And like, you just sit there. That's so the busted. You sit there and yeah. for the fire yeah. while you trigger it. Yeah. So like, yeah, yeah, then no. just and then I just dip. It's it's yeah, it's completely broken. Okay, okay. I think everyone's agree. I was expecting a bit more pushback on this one. Uh, let's put this one away. That was an easy one. Uh, something <laughs> I... happened to me a few times ago. Uh, I played a game. I think it was yesterday or the day before. And I want to have your opinion on the new state of the game. I was a trader. And with my partner, we met, we managed to get four solar flare in 12 minutes. We got the natural one. Yeah. I crafted one. My partner crafted one. And we got one from the from the box. Uh, I know that a few people were six, very, actually, very annoyed. Insane. I, I think Grande and I had one that we had four solar flares and three bunnies in the other night. And that, but I've, my airdrops had both of my airdrops had two remote sabos in them. The only thing I can you, I'll honestly though, you're I, not I, supposed I'd to get double. I think that's getting changed. Yeah, yeah. I, I would much rather have that than the other thing that's a bug currently, where you get the uh, second objective located. After yeah, four, <laughs> four jam radios after yeah. they're already basically done. Second objective, and you're just like, broken. great, great. I, I jammed the radio for myself four consecutive times, and uh, yeah, they yeah, still talk cool. to you. It's so. <laughs> It's so upsetting. So, I'd much rather get three solar flares in a thing than that right now. Why is it like, too why much? Why actual flares over jam radio right now, please? Why'd you stop talking? <laughs> <laughs> we kind of all agreed so far that the new state of the game is a godsend for sheep traders. Oh, but a godsend God. for traders in general. And but is it too much? Little... Is it too no. much? Is it one-sided no. now? No, it, it, no. it needs some they're balancing. Get, they're starting to get like, too it, yeah. PvP heavy. So now it's like leaned in more of the deception side, which is I've, very I've, nice. But I've there completely moved away. The, the only issues, but. counter yeah. to that is, though, all it takes is someone who is not interested at all in doing social deception, grabbing two crates, three gun parts, or two, four gun parts, a shotgun sniper, and just ending everybody in ten minutes. With the oh, bad yeah. benefit of grabbing a solar flare they can make themselves, too. That was always an option, So the, they, they gotta have yeah. some way to help curb that down if they're going to give so much power to someone that can just get stand two, there and just go two gun parts. Stop somebody from playing I that way. I think it's the counter of that, though, is most people realize, hey, you know, peaser has been gone from the cabin for the past seven minutes. Has he been with anybody? No, we should exile him all. You can get a gun in three that, minutes. That's, that's, that's seven minutes. I've, I've had a gun. This like with, with open bunker RNG as a survivor, I had a gun in like a minute 45 one time. Yeah, like this well, is just... They, I think they just need to... by the cabin. You get like three gun parts. Yeah, you, you you absolutely takes less than I five think minutes for survivors... a good to get a gun and start murdering. Survivors it's already got their crazy good buff though. They already have access to several defectors. They have access. I don't to want, want that though. Take those defectors away. That even ruins the game more. So yeah, let's, but let's roll that back to one have before one. we. It's not guaranteed though that you get two defectors. It's guaranteed yeah. that somebody. It's basically guaranteed somebody's getting a gun in the first five minutes. Too much guns. Uh, again, or if they too don't, much guns. that can be, be, able to that can be just two remote sabos and the say, other partner that, that has a gun a can murder everybody. Topic. Yoshi Man says, I wish the airdrop ability cost points, to be honest. Two abilities is a lot for free. No. No. The, they, they need to make that first airdrop almost standard. 
and make it have one guaranteed good thing and they yeah, yeah. Or maybe make it cost a point then when you know you're getting a sabotage or something like that like because most I, of the I, time but... you don't even get that job <laughs> yeah, yeah like that's like, like we're consistently four and a half minute first objectives if people are remotely trying in a lot of and lobbies with better people jammed radios <laughs> <laughs> yeah even with like, oh, in the shadow of second objective locating it better. i do you know, I have found a use for those jammed radios. I put them on the body of someone I killed, then just claim, oh, look. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the best very, use oh, yeah, that's... I feel like that's very few in chance, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't happen. No, I like it. Honestly, no, I, the only no, use if I you did that, I would probably question you being bad because of how useless they are. I'd be like, why is this person even carrying it? They didn't throw it in a river? Like... <laughs> But that reminds me, when the red radio was a thing, my favorite thing to do was to just plant my red radio on a dead body. Just take the red, red trader radio, put it in a dead body, and then when people find it, they, they, they're sure they have a dead trader. So I'm going to remember that, Silver. I like this idea. I didn't think about it. Just put the remote sabo on the uh, dead body you, you killed. So, yeah, but... I oh, is it? True with, the, with the radio, with the radio, you just basically like set your partner up to just get shit-talked by, by, by the survivors <laughs> for the next 15 minutes when you did that. True, true survivors will take the sabo. They, they should add you got radio your partner, panels. idiot! <laughs> true, true survivors will take the items off the trader and use them. Yeah. No matter what it is. Always fun to make a survivor teleport away from the escape at the very end while you're on it or getting on it. <laughs> okay, so let's reverse the original question about trapping first objective. I think we've uh, talked, we said all we had to say about that. Uh, I've heard a lot of things about uh, balance, uh, not being balanced yet, about uh, being uh, super easy to counter with trap disarm. Uh, Yoshi brings a good point I wanted to bring too. Um, should should we bring up the cost of the remote sabo then to counter the fact? Or I was I'm I'm very curious to see what both teams have to say about it because I think we're gonna get two know. different answers. Should the trap disarm cost more than it costs? Not trap disarm, but the remote sabo costs more than it is right now to crap. Yeah, why not? Probably. I think instead of. I feel like it's fair, but I feel like you should only be able to craft one per team. Because oh, yeah, especially with as it stands, they can only craft two, right? I, I feel yeah. like the solar pulse is more deserving of a slight bump. And I like, agree. like I said, you're already costing an extra four just to be able to not have to potentially disarm traps and walk inside. So four points, there you go. That's a gun. That's two drinks, two landmines, or three landmines, or four landmines maybe. I forget the cost on them now. So that's, that's a, like I said, it's a cost. I mean, it might sound surprising coming from me as a sheep trader. I think it needs bumped up. I think at least twelve. Oh, yeah. I think yeah, I think it should just be reduced to one and stay the same. Like, of the team, only one person because it doesn't make sense to have more than three. Like maybe you get one in each trader <laughs> job because you can only sabo first three times and it only works on first. It doesn't work on second at all. I, so I would say it works if you have a guarantee of one sabo of the two drops like in yeah. some way like yeah then then you can make it only one per team but if it's no team, yeah, that, nah, yeah you might sorry. need both those to be able to get all three sabos off if you're playing that game like you might yeah. actually need them that's fair uh quipper uh, or ash anything to say about this topic uh, ash i think you're muted no i just my mic was in oh the wrong there you spot. go um i think that it ne I think either of those options are, you know, viable as long as something happens to it. I think as is, it's just not going to work. I think it either needs a buff or it just needs to be kind of a set, uh, kind of set, I, if that makes sense. <laughs> it does. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Quipper? I was not prepared for... Uh, this question. <laughs> uh, I'm sort of in the mindset if you change something, strategy changes. Yeah. So I, I I would really need more time to think about it because it would throw everything off like dominoes. I mean, the balance is very, uh, it, it's very delicate. So I, I don't know is what I'm saying. That's fair. That is fair. Sorry. And Rustery, uh, I don't think I heard you on that topic. I think prices, like, 
I haven't dabbled too much on the crafting side of things, and when I did, I haven't had much issue making them. I think the ones that remove most player agency, like decision making, so global exile net should be pumped up, so it's like a last minute option, like you're saving up a lot for it, because that gives you a lot of power, as well as solar flare. I think those are the biggest issues. Uh, they, yeah, I, I think they need to patch the issues of the overlapping events before they touch the cost on the exile, personally. So That's like so, the one I think right now is perfectly fine at its cost. Because... I believe, I believe when I was talking to Red5 about it, I believe he said it, like, for in the future it's only supposed to be a blizzard, another global yeah. exile, or I, th- I want to say he said bunnies and solar fo- like like the escape like, pod, the the well, crates. I'm just those... saying, like currently with yeah. that dynamic, I don't think that should cost more than twelve. Like it, it, it's hard to get that in a very good time to use it at twelve points or something like that with the way that a random airdrop just denies you. Like it's. I, I don't think that one's the one that's. I think the solar pulse is the cheapest right now, and also the worst, or like the cost to benefit ratio is the highest right now. Oh, absolutely. Solar flare can easily waste, easily waste three, four, five minutes. Yeah. Now that's the one that definitely has the most attention, I would think, to get addressed. One more question I have right here before we change topic and we uh, leave a bit for uh, traps. I want to know, we're going to end this topic on a good note. Can every one of you can remember one of your favorite moments you had using traps, either being caught by traps or either catching someone with traps? One moment that stayed with you related to uh, trapping in the game. Everybody's thinking. So me, <laughs> okay, I already have that. Um, so when I was like early playing, I was playing with like this group of people a lot, and I put a whole bunch of traps like over like the ramp for the, it's not the helipad, but the other air vehicle, whatever it's called. So it's got the ramps going up. I had like landmines on both sides of those ramps, and I had people blowing up. I was at the top. They're both blowing up, and they're both, like, tossing each other over the screen. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful. And then I was, like, killing everybody, and, like, the one guy who was, like, I DC'd, he's, like, no, no, Master Exploder, Master Exploder, Master Exploder, like, begging for forgiveness. That always really stuck with me, because it was, <laughs> it was pretty funny. That's for a good me, one. I think it was landmines as well. I think I was on the receiving end of this one when I was, like, newer at the game. Somebody had covered up the entire, I guess it would be like north side of Flagstone Falls, I think it is, <coughs> on the lower side with landmines. And me and the two other survivors were doing the final objective and bouncing from landmine to landmine and sliding in the water. And there was like nothing we could do to stop it because we did a disarm, but there was still everywhere. Like we did the disarm and then took one step to the side from the disarm, blew up and flew in the water. <laughs> and it was, it was absolute <laughs> chaos. Just because the way the slope and everything, you just kept rolling and it was bad. I Do guess for cool. me, um, I think it was during when I was uh, trapping um, the escape. I think it was submarine, I want to say. Either that or the other one, which I can't think of the name right now. Um, I had uh, <laughs> bear traps at one of each door and then uh before that i had uh mines like right behind it and i had ended up dying to either wolves or to somebody who caught me um so i was already dead as a traitor but i had it all kind of set up and the survivors i think my teammate was dead the survivors were like okay we're good to just go and what had kind of happened is they are all kind of going to separate entrances of the escape um, the first person hit the landmine, it flew them into the bear traps. So once they got up, they all immediately got bear trapped. Um, and then one other person uh, hit a mine. And then after the game, they saw that it was all just completely like trapped and like uh, that I had like it very, I had it set up so everyone would, you know, they'd have a hard time getting away. And that's just one of my favorites because I just 
I loved that I was able to fling someone into another trap with a mine. It was just probably my favorite moment. My favorite moment would be way back then, you your trader teammate couldn't see your own placement of trader traps. Oof. So then oh. it became a big issue where you trap one area and you're in the crossfire now because you don't know yourself where your teammate put the trap. So in the cabin, he put a ton of bear traps around, like the whole game. All the survivors are coming back and we were going to have this big duel. And my teammates just speaking in the radio because there wasn't traitor radio. <clears throat> so there was one survivor constantly trying to like caught, mimic his voice, telling me wrong information. There's a trap above you. There's a trap to your left. And then there's my actual teammate saying, be careful. There's a trap over there in this place. And it's just this mess of one person knowing where it is <laughs> trying to convey to me and the other survivor trying to throw me off and tell his teammates not to go there. It was beautiful. So I have a piece of uh, clipper and silver, all the earth. Yeah, mine, mine is a uh, a day the week it came out on Xbox. I uh, was a bit of an asshole, and I put thirty seven traps on the second objective, <laughs> and they had already killed my friend, and they had killed two other people in the lobby. So I think there was three or four of them left, and I stood at the second objective, and they sent they just hurled the worst things I've been called in this game at me as they ran into trap after trap after trap until they were all downed and dead. And the last one that got kind of near me was just like a punch in the teeth before he was down, and that was the end of the game. And I just listened to them yell at me the whole time until we ended. And it was... I... I, I <laughs> that was probably the bit most, like, most ridicule I've ever gotten in a game in my life. But I enjoyed Gripper? every minute oh, of it. That's a good one. I, I love your yeah. story so far, guys. These are awesome. Uh, Quipper and Silver Horse. Uh, I think mine... I've been sitting here thinking... I probably think my favorite would be when I just... After a solar flare, I was first back to cabin and just opened the outhouse and put a bear trap in front of me and just sat there laughing. And the first person <laughs> who came back ran up into the bear trap. I killed them. I dragged their body into the outhouse, put the bear trap down, got the second person, <laughs> ran up. I was just sitting there, well, you guys know my fucking laugh when I'm doing stupid shit. Oh, yeah. I just, <laughs> just fucking ran up to me, got bear trapped, I killed them, drug them into the outhouse with me, put the bear trap back down. Third person came up, trapped them, killed them, drug them in, and then the last three came back all at the same time and murdered my ass. But I was laughing too hard to care. You are uh, have a very memorable laugh, Quipper. Thank you. Uh, Quipper, you have any uh, uh, such moment? Yeah, uh, there was a game I played uh, quite a while ago. Oh, I think you got out. We lost oh. you. Hello. Welcome back. There you go. Can you can you hear? Okay, sorry. Yeah. Uh, and it was it was actually with X. And it was a lot of um, randoms in the lobby. And I was a trader, but I was sheeping. And uh, we, fin <laughs> we, f we all finished uh, s second objective. And then uh, I, and they were like, okay. And the next is, you know, how hair is on. Let's, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go and uh, go fix first or whatever. And so I, I just hung back just a little bit and then I uh, sat bowed second and then put a, a bomb on it. And and in the confusion, uh, everybody thought that, uh, or X knew it was me at that point, but nobody else could figure out what was going on. They thought it was somebody else. <laughs> And so uh, I I uh, got down, but then somebody who was random picked me up, and I started running off. And the NX is like, no, no, wait a minute. And then somebody tried to, to get to second, and they blew up. And so I guess that was my most memorable. <laughs> awesome stories, guys. I want to share mine, too, while we're here. It's going to be a picture. And now I'm a bit disappointed because you guys kind of tell earlier that poison was not considered a trap. 
but it is to me it is to my heart so i'm just going to show this one picture on screen and this is going to tell everything this is one of my favorite moments using poison <laughs> uh, po poison is the best this is going to be a timeline is isn't it or not <laughs> oh, uh, oh. after lobby blah, blah, blah. everyone being sick one after the other and not a soul is like why aren't you vomiting <laughs> well like, ah, it's got iron guts <laughs> i well thrusty was not vomiting as well so i was not the only one Ooh, okay feta says poison is definitely tear trap thank you feta has been taking my side a lot tonight in the chat so i'm gonna remember that feta I i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna never say that feta is not a superior cheese anymore so guys that was awesome i think we've covered all the questions i had let me just see if i have more questions from the chat uh do i have you not just, here we still have not the beacon here. one we still have the beacon one uh we can do it in 10 minutes but i we cannot have spent so much time so if you guys want to talk about the beacon one we can do it we can do it quickly um uh, okay i want to see your opinion that should you use the beacon uh, turn on the beacon on second objective uh, yes no why why should you not use it when should you use it when should you not use it go ahead i yeah. have my bad. I have a great story of somehow it all working out for um, the survivors to not use the beacon. Somehow we had we hadn't weeded out who is bad or evil, but we had created a sort of a alliance of like, sure, we're all good. We're gonna say we're all good, but we actually were somehow. I don't know how it happened, and we all found out where uh, second objective was. So we kept it within our like small little group. And for some reason, the traders had never, like they we, they were unable to find second. So we didn't turn on the beacon until we had already finished it, called uh, the radio or called for the escape. And then we all left. So I think it's really per game and per how everything's going. Um, and if you're able to kind of trust the group that you're in. Uh, I would say there's a pretty quick judgment of whether to hit it or not is if you've come up on second objective and there's dead wolves or no wolves, it's safer than not to trigger it at that point unless you are worried the trader is not aware that you're in the area. That'd be the only time yeah. to avoid it is if you want to be stealth. Like if it's animal waves, I will never trigger it because I don't want yeah. them to know that I'm there. And, unless both and wolves are dead and I'm the first person to show up when everyone's supposed to go but like yeah are you talking as a trader or as a survivor or both it's a survivor Survivors. survivor okay let's do survivor then i don't think i'd ever activate mm -hmm. it as a trader unless i'm I cheaping don't think anyone else would. but like as a wolf i have no intention <laughs> yeah. maybe like maybe to bait them to come over to traps but that's like one in a hundred games I don't know. With, with randoms, I'd activate it almost always just to get them to come over and help me fix it, hopefully, but... With right, if you, have, know... if you have inexperienced people that say half the lobby, uh, then I think that it's just better to turn it on or else you're, gonna, you're not going to get anything done, or you're going to have to do it yourself. I think the general rule of thumb is if it's a wolf objective and you're full health and you know that the wolf trader or something hasn't found it yet or is probably not going to find it, you don't turn on the beacon. If it's yeah, an objective, it. if you have a majority of the survivors with you and you can do it by yourselves, don't activate it. If you're by yourself, you don't know if it's trapped or not or if it's unsafe, put in the beacon. I think that's the general rule of thumb. Yeah, I agree. I think it's too situational to have a straight yes-no answer for this. No, like with I've, randoms, yeah. even if it's animal waves, I like, will not activate that. I will uh, say with, for I, batteries. Had, oh, go ahead. Go sorry, dude, man. No, no, I was just gonna say the same thing as you. I've had batteries where I've done three of three batteries yeah, before. I've never activated it. Just, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like they don't know where it is. They don't know where I am. I'll just do it. They can all do whatever they please. If they yeah. activate it and find it, then they know I'm good. But I just batteries. I almost never. I just solo it. Why? Unless I know there's why batteries? Wolf. Why is Because you can do that entirely on your own. Yeah, can, unless I'm yeah. in a very big rush and I want to just have yeah. that there, and there's no other reason. If you have for me plenty to of time, it, 
Yeah, if you have plenty of time, you finish first quickly and you found it, you could just solo battery. Meander around with a battery and yeah. hide everywhere and just know where you're going rather than having to rush directly to it. Like, you don't exactly. need the beacon. Exactly. Okay. Uh, Quipper, anything to say on this? Oh, like I said, if there are random... Uh, if if the lobby is like half randoms, then um, possibly, or else you're gonna have to solo it. Like I said, um, so yeah, it's it. I I would say my answer is it depends. Okay, B, sir? Yeah. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you. I forget the question. <laughs> activate <laughs> activate beacon. <laughs> right. Um. God, it's just like fifty fifty for me. Like I go on autopilot whenever I do that shit. Like. And it's like, oh, whoops, sorry, everybody. I just called the traders over to kill us. Like, I, I don't pick up radios because I just don't pay attention to it. And then when it comes to beacon, I'm like, I, I have no input on that. <laughs> if that was going to be your main topic, I wasn't going to join because I got nothing. No, no, I think Rustery really wanted to talk about it, so I brought it for a few minutes. Yeah, I just was going to say, like, if, if, that, if that was going to be the main one, like, I read that one. If it's going to be the main, I was like, I got nothing because I don't, I don't use it and I don't do it. And I do it sometimes when I'm not thinking about it. But I've never really found it to be a huge issue. Like, didn't ruin That's my game. Great. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Um, is there any moments where you should absolutely turn on the beacon in your mind, guys? When the traders are dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> like, it, it, it's batteries. When it's when it's helicopter. The are dead. Turn that beacon on instantly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When it's helicopter, like yeah. even when it's. Even then, it's iffy because ID thief and all that. Ah, you know, two are dead. If yeah. I, if two if are I dead. find a crate open in front of it, I activate the beacon. I mean, at that point, that's well. If a crate's the same open, thing as two dead trapped. wolves, right? It's the exact same thing. There's two dead wolves, and nothing's there guarding it anymore. It's like, well, someone's touched this already, so whatever. I think it's like Horse said. It's very game to game. There's not a solid yes or no because every situation is like entirely unique in that sense. Can like, we all just? Go ahead. Can we all just agree it's really annoying when that one rando just activates the beacon instantly when we're saying, like, don't do it? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, well, specifically halfway when... through animal yeah. waves, he shows okay, up yeah. and just, like, hey, guys, triggers the beacon, and you're like, what? I guess, I guess I'll go back to that. Like, when it's animal waves, I don't do it. That's it. Yeah. That's, like, that's, 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 that's obviously because that's, that's the one that I'm stuck there. Like, I'm, I'm not, you know. Okay, that seems to be the... Uh... The one thing everyone agrees with guys that was awesome we will call it quits for tonight but it's not over we still have the post game project winter game so it's a tradition we have so far dudeman quipper silver horse uh, usually after the game we all jump into a project winter lobby and we do uh, one game with uh, most of us and just to talk and uh, to just to test what we talk today before we go i have still a few things i want to talk with the audience first of all i will give you all of it all of you one more minute to just uh, tell us what you thought about the debate. Tell everyone where they can find you. And uh, I want everyone to uh, be able to find you and go follow you because you've been all awesome tonight. So, uh, Ash, if you want to tell us what you thought about the debate, is your po did your position change? And uh, where people can find you if you produce content? Uh, yeah, so um, as far as the debate goes, I feel like I, I should have contributed more. I just have a hard time cutting people off. Um, I don't like interrupting people. Um, I think there is a lot of um, great points. Um, I think with this discussion, I still kind of agree, uh, have the same mindset of, eh, you don't really have to trap, uh, but it is kind of situational. Um, and then as far as socials, don't have any you don't want any of them at, anyway so that's about it thanks for being there tonight thank you Peaser. uh yeah my name is Peaser. please i stream saturdays and wednesdays usually project winner um I'm, at, I'm not gonna be here this saturday though uh so i've had the game for two years i've been partnered with them for just short of a year now um it's kind of it, this is probably i was realizing the other night the first update that i like finally don't panic <laughs> when i'm a trader anymore because i've played 1500 hours and right up until like the 1300 hour mark like i would always like my heart would drop every single time like oh no like it's nice to have it switched up 
with not, not feeling like I need to trap everything, everything, everything anymore and actually have the freedom. So I'm still on that side. I'm not going to switch and I haven't trapped since the update like at all. So it's been kind of nice. So yeah, um, I that's it. Thanks for being there, Freezer. Always, I think you missed only one so far, so you're definitely yeah, or like I said, you just keep letting here. me in the door. I don't know why. Why would not? <laughs> why would we kick you out? Yeah, hey, yeah, you're doing good, and it's always fun to have you around. So we love you as much as you want, buddy. Dude, man, what do you think about your first uh, appearance on the debate? And where can people find you? If not if, but when they want to follow you? Um. Well, I think my team won. Um. We had better points. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, good, the, the you guys made good points too. Because I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, All right. being, I'm just being a shitter. Um, I had fun. Um, uh, I think again though we won because we have dog as well. Like I had dog. I'm we, still watching that dog. We we had twenty four seven dog. I have I have dog. I've been distracted. It, but really it was fun. It was fun. I was I I was I was glad to hear your guys' points of why you think it's bad. My opinion hasn't changed. I still think it's good, but it's nice to hear the other side of things. Um, yeah, you can find me on Twitch, Dude Man OG, Little Lion Guy. That's really it. <laughs> Thanks for being here for the first time, and I hope we see you again, Dude Man, because your presence was uh, much appreciated. Real Deal. Hello. Hello. I am Real Deal Teal Teal, and um, yeah, I still very much believe that you should you should trap it. Why the hell not? Got to use those, uh, you know, trap spawn tips more. <laughs> but yeah, you can <laughs> you can you can find me on Twitch on uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays. Unless I'm here on Thursday, you're not gonna find me on, on live. I'll be streaming on Sundays instead. <clears throat> awesome. Uh, what's your name on Twitch? Real deal, teal teal. There you go. Awesome. Thank you very much, uh, Zeke. If you're not too occupied over there. Maybe he is. Sorry. <laughs> oh, are sorry. you there? I'm, oh, there you are. Yeah, I'm sorry. My dog ripped my headphones out of my ears. So I'm Zeke. Uh, you can find me on Twitch at ZKO313. And soon you'll find my dog Benny here on Twitch with me as well. I still think trapping first and making the traders always think that they have to waste those extra four points is definitely the way to go. I, I just don't think letting the traders have the idea that they can clearly scroll in first and second that I think that should happen. Awesome. And uh, did you already say where people can find you? Yep. Thank you so much. Oh, you're cutting out a little bit, Zeke. He did. He did? Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. <laughs> away. Uh, Quipper, thanks for being here for the first time. What do you think of your, uh, of your experience so far? Oh, it was it was great. Um, <laughs> very interesting. I I never knew that uh, it, it, like seal would use those traps. Well, it's good to know now. <laughs> I can use that against during game, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, um, my name is Quipper. I have Twitch and uh, Quipper, and uh, my stance has not changed. I still think that it is uh, does more harm than good. Um, it wastes more time trying to get everything trapped and then getting your survivor people out of the traps and getting them healed back up when you can use those traps elsewhere. Um, I, and like I said, when um, a, me a game mechanic changes, I think that um, the strategy changes. So. Excellent. Thanks for being here tonight, Quipper, and I hope to see you. I think you're going to be there next week, right? Maybe I'm um, talking I think, too soon? I think I'm going to be an alt. As, okay. If, if, I, if I know, yeah. Excellent. Uh, Silver Horse, also here for the first time tonight. Glad you, you've made it. Uh, what do you think of the debate? Uh, it's a position change, and can we find you anywhere if we wish to find you? Uh, thank you for having me. I think everyone was a good time. Uh, hard to argue against dog cam, really. So, <laughs> uh, Benny, look how is good amazing. he's being too. Get me a dog cam. <laughs> but, like, uh, look at that. He's like perfect. 
Oh my god, that is. Okay, <laughs> He's Vargas. even looking at everybody. Vargas, you need a cat cam. <laughs> but yeah. uh, as far as my opinion goes, I do feel a little swayed. Uh, Zeke did make some good points. Uh, I'll give him some props for that. Uh, but I think like everything else in Project Winter, it's so situational. You know, every game is different. You know, some games it might you know behoove you to throw some traps down on first. Uh, you know, you might you know have both. Uh, or have one trader dead, the wolf trader's out there, you have him exiled. You know, you might not trap it. Every game's different in Project Wonder, which is what I think would make it such a great damn game. You know, such a simple premise, but look how many different situations we've all talked about tonight. Um, so I think it's hard to give this one a straight yes or no answer, just like uh, the other question you asked there about Beacon. Um, it's situational. Excellent. And uh, Rustery? It was a really fun debate. It was fun to see everyone's opinions, even though some were wrong. I'm joking. Um, overall, it was just really fun to go around and see what points everyone was doing about whether to have traps in first objective or how trader abilities just changed up the meta. That was really interesting. You can find my Twitch, as I said before, on Rustry X and my YouTube on Rustry. And thank you for being here tonight, Rustery. Uh, for those who don't know, my name is Aspargus Zykery. I'm a French-Canadian streamer. I mostly play social deduction games like uh, Among Us, Project Winter, Dread Hunger, uh, Secret Hitler. I love these kind of games when you can betray your friends and stab them in the back. Uh, I've released today something very different. I've made a live review yesterday with Mr. Moose. We reviewed the latest episode of The Book of Boba Fett, uh, Boba Fett episode uh, 6. Uh, full of spoilers, so we're not going to talk about it, but the uh, review is on my YouTube channel right now. I do have Dread Hunger, Peter, and I love Dread Hunger. Let's play it. Not tonight. Let's play it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are definitely yeah. going to play it. Uh, little little uh, spoiler, guys. Next week, we're going to have a special debate. We are going to have a woman-only debate uh, led, <laughs> and the topic will be is Project Winter a welcoming community one. for women? Yeah, that's the only one you're keeping me out of. It's not yeah, fair. We are going to kick you. As, uh, as tentacles say, you don't have the woman parts. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. No. She's right. <laughs> so that, that's going to be a very interesting topic. A few, a few of her uh, people in the community wanted to talk, and apparently there's a lot that has to be said. So I'm hoping every single one of you would tune in to listen to, to this. Uh, it's. I feel it's going to be more like a roundtable discussion more than a debate, but we never did know. Did you get somebody with a yes on that one? Because yes, yes I did. <laughs> really? Yeah, I. I did. All right, that's that's. I, I want to hear it. Yeah, I that that's... too. Wait, <laughs> oh, I want to see some. I said I want to see some metal gymnastics that night. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, you already have a side there. Wow. Yeah, y'all. Next week's going to be wow. You need to be there. It is, it's going to be a... Well, Pizer, what you can questions. what you can do, Pizer, is have one of them have a picture of you and just hold it up midstream. Yeah. Yeah. You'll still yeah. be there in spirit. I got there, yeah. <laughs> I will be doing keep, keep tomorrow. Here. Tomorrow's can we Friday. Have a cat GoPro? Sorry, it, really random, but a, it, instead of a cat cam, cat GoPro? Oh, you put the GoPro. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, and... yeah. <laughs> that'd just be a great. random Discord account for that specifically. <laughs> <laughs> So, guys, that's going to be it for the debate tonight. Don't leave everyone. We are going to jump into a Project Winter game. So give us like two or three minutes. We're going to discuss the logistics of it on the on the Discord. But that was awesome, guys. Thank you for being here. Good numbers tonight. With good participations. We have a lot of uh, new followers. Yoshi Man follow us tonight. Erinus Magic follow us tonight. Rostery following us tonight. That was awesome. Shadow with the raid. Uh, Yoshi Man with the raid. Guys, you are incredible. Thank you so much for being here and we will be back in a few minutes. Do not leave.